Prosper. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I'm going to try to do this video um, as efficiently as I possibly can um, while I'm here <laughs> alone. Okay. So, how y'all been? How have you um, uh, 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 loved yourself? This week, how have you valued yourself this week? How have you stayed safe from the coronavirus? How many of y'all have forgotten to thank God for bringing you this far? How many? Don't forget to do that because those things are very important. It's important that you remain grateful. Under all the circumstances, I don't care who tell you what, it is an honor, no matter what circumstances it is, to come through this plane of existence. Could not have even made it through. Out of all the thousands of sperms that your father shot through your mom, you were created. That egg magnificently exploded. And out came the beautiful creature of you. And so for that, I want you to know that you're worthy. And for that, I want you to know that you're special. Okay? Regardless of the circumstances around us. So with that being said, I'm going to get into this article. Because I think it's very important. Um, and it has to be actually, you know. It, it, it has to be dealt with. It, it really does. Because it is so insane. But yet, no matter how insane it is, you know that your government has a history of this. In fact, it was done to us. And any black and brown body, basically, um, is subjected to this type of treatment. So members of Congress are pressing the administration for further inquiries after the Department of Homeland Security announced this week that it is looking into a whistleblower complaint that claimed federal immigration detainees underwent unnecessary gynecological surgeries, including full hyster hysterectomies, without their consent. Now, who in the hell don't believe it? Who don't believe it? Who don't? Remember or don't know about General Elmhurst and smallpox in the blanket to put on the Native American. Who? I mean, so now in order to keep debating these subjects right now is just showing me that you all are in denial. You are in such denial that no one can ever live in peace with a narcissist, period, but let alone somebody that can never be healed who just maybe has severe narcissistic traits, but and eventually can come across, nope, not them people. Remember, this shit run on a continuum. So if you were real deep, like Donald Trump, he has no caring for you or I. I don't care how much he leads and, and acts as if he has a base that he respects behind your back. He talks about you like a dog. And for those of you who are in such denial, you need to go to AA Anonymous or Cocaine Anonymous or something and let them teach you about denial. Because the first thing you would do is you wouldn't undermine a person like Michael Cohen and say just because he went to jail, he has nothing valid to say. How crazy is that? It, my thought process is because he went to jail for this guy, he has everything to say that should be taken serious. So these are the same practices, lies, thievery, uh, evil doing, um, things that really pretty much America was built on. And at some point, it's going to come to an end. I don't know when, but no lie can live forever. So the immigration attorney said that they were interviewing detainees this week to determine how widespread the problem might be. With some clients describing experiences where a part of the fallopian tube and their ovaries had been removed while they were in custody. 
More than 170 Democratic members of Congress dispatched a letter Tuesday to Homeland Security Inspector urging the office to open an immediate investigation. And so when they do, trust me, the Democrats are not going to do anything because, remember, they're just different wings on the same bird. You know, because you have to keep white supremacy alive at all costs. The country was built on it. So it's never going to be fair. It's never going to look for an equality as a roadmap or a gauge unless the people speak up, unless the people have enough, unless the people say, we ain't having it no more. The elite <laughs> have got to go. Some people call them elite. Some people call them the um, wicked, the wicked evildoers. So, um, there's more than 100, again, of 70, 170 Democrat members, they want an immediate investigation. The allegations stem from a 27-page complaint compiled by Project South, an Atlanta-based advocacy group, as well as Georgia Detention Watch, Georgia Latino Alliance for Human Rights, and South Georgia Immigrant Support Network. The complaint lists Don Wooten, a former nurse at the Irwin County Detention Center, as a whistleblower, who details medical neglect, such as refusal to test detainees for the COVID, and an alarming practice of subjecting female detainees to hysterectomies without them fully understanding what is happening. The detention for the center is run by a private prison, LaSalle Corporation, and overseen by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Officials at the LaSalle Corrections, which runs the center, did not return several requests for comments. The complaint doesn't name the doctor who allegedly performed the procedures, but several attorneys presenting the woman have identified him as Dr. Mahindra Amin of Douglas, Georgia. Again, this doctor's name is Dr. Mahindra Amin. A person answering the phone at Amin's office Thursday declined to answer questions or locate I mean for comment. In an earlier interview with the Intercept, the doctor confirmed he has treated immigration detainees and said that he has performed one or two hysterectomies on patients in recent years. But said all procedures on immigration detainees were approved by officials at the detention center. And according to ICE, Two individuals at the Irving County facility have been referred to by medical professions for the hysterectomy since 2018. But in a statement, Dr. Ada Rivera, medical director for the ICE Health Service Corporation, said she vehemently disputes the implications that detainees are used for experimental medical procedures and vowed a full investigation. Detainees are afforded informed consent, and a medical procedure like a hysterectomy would never be performed against a detainee's will. Uh, I mean, it's just, it's sick. A hysterectomy is a surgical removal course of a woman's uterus which eliminates any possibility of ever conceiving a child. Okay, other procedures include removal of an ovary or a fallopian tube can significantly reduce her chances. And they was doing that to the young girl. <laughs> oh. The whistleblower complaint alleges that immigration detainees were routinely sent outside the detention center to a gynecologist who, perfor who performed full hysterectomies partial hysterectomies, and other surgical procedures without the full, their full understanding or consent. In one case, Wooten said a detained young woman was supposed to have her left ovary removed because of a cyst 
but the doctor removed her right hand, right ovary instead. The doctor still had to remove the left ovary, leaving the detainee completely infertile. She still wanted children. She still has to go back home now and tell her husband that she can't bear children, Wooten said in a complaint. Attorneys representing detainees at the Urban Detention Center said that they didn't realize the extent of the problem until it started talking with each other about their clients after the whistleblower's complaint was filed. National organizations have since asked the attorneys around the country to review their cases and talk to their clients to see if any of the allegations out of Georgia have been sent elsewhere. Sarah Owings, an Atlanta-based immigration attorney, is working with a team of lawyers to identify women who have received medical care from the doctor mentioned in the complaint. By Wednesday, the team had identified more than 15 cases of women who underwent questionable surgeries at the hands of this Dr. Fibes, including the removal of parts of the fallopian tube and removal of the ovaries. We are still in the process of comparing notes, she said. I wouldn't say that there is a systemic pattern, but based on people who have gotten in touch, it points to a lack of informed consent and full understanding by the people of who is receiving these medical treatments. Are you really thinking we that stupid after you've been doing this for hundreds of years? You've been doing it for hundreds of years. Who do you think you're talking to? One of them, one of the ladies, uh, Maria Nunez de Rosales of El Salvador, was at the facility in 2018 when doctors told her she had cancer and needed a hysterectomy. Osario said de Rosales, who only speaks Spanish, had the procedure done without entirely realizing what had happened. De Rosales has since been returned to El Salvador. There was no explanation to her and no interpreter. She just woke up and she didn't even know what happened. Another client who wished not to be named because she's still in removal proceedings also had a hysterectomy done at the facility, he said. And after complaining about abdominal pains, that doctors at the center performed a biopsy and told her she had cervical cancer. Uh, and of course, old trusty Dr. Amin performed a hysterectomy on her in August of 2019, Osario said. After leaving the facility, she had a follow-up done by her primary doctor in Charlotte, North Carolina, who told her she was cancer-free. Osario said he doesn't know if the 29, 2019 procedure cleared out the cancer or if his client ever had it in the first damn place. Obviously, there's real questions here. Whether the doctor is giving the best medical advice, if he's getting informed consent. All these questions are out there. Hopefully, these investigations could figure out what's going on. Katie Shepard, National Advocacy Council with the American Immigration Council Group, um, a group that advocates for immigrants and files lawsuits on their behalf, said they're hoping to learn more about these allegations through attorneys because ICE's historic lack of transparency makes it hard for them to truly know what's happening inside of these immigration detention centers. You got that right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would not be surprised if there are similar facts and patterns in other corners of ICE detention centers, she said. But obviously, we want to learn more. Obviously. I'm concerned that the stories that the women tell may be quite different from the what the medical records will say. 
J. Paul said, even if the medical records said we did X, Y, and Z, if the women haven't been informed or much less consented to a procedure where they don't have any clue what they're signing, then that's very significant. I don't know, you guys. What y'all think? First of all, do you think that these women were being given hysterectomies without their consent and partial hysterectomies and removing of their fallopian tubes and things of that nature? Do you believe that this government would do so something so hideous as to perform those acts on a human being without informing them what they're doing? Y'all think? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go, y'all leave y'all comments below, and please be honest with it, be honest about it, if you like what you hear y'all, please like, subscribe, and share the video, and I'll see you in the next one.